show it every day, we be grinding And if you ask me, we the best, I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio This is how we do every day, we be grinding And if you wanna come and test us, I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio When I'm speaking all these What's up fellas, this is Coach KK, a.k.a. Kenny Catfish Welcome to Volume 12, Part 1 This is a new volume, that means we are 75% practice mode 25% gameplay footage Volume 12, Part 1 Part 1 is always primarily just practice mode And we, what we do is we take formations and sets And we do open heart surgery on them You know, we dissect this thing like a frog um, this is the spread playbook this formation can also be found in the Buffalo Bills playbook Green Bay Packers playbook and the Cleveland Browns playbook so good looking out if you've already discovered this formation and stuff and you have some tricks and trades feel free to share them in the comment section I've already mentioned this formation before I did a whole video on it in Madden 20 and we covered this a little bit earlier in Madden 22 so I just want to Primarily focus on gun stack wide off and give it its own volume and we'll do a couple of four minute offense videos in the um, Upcoming videos of this formation. So here we go. Let's just randomly pick a play I've already implemented the audibles and we'll go over that later um, What we have here is a symmetrical formation, you know, just take the running back out the equation You got two to the left two to the right now if you look to the left notice these receivers are inside the numbers and that is one of the key components of the formation you know it ain't like we're coming out in like the spread it's still a spread now watch this watch the quick formation shift see what i'm saying that's a total different ball game total different ball game the fact that grunk even went outside and flexed a little bit um the fact that brown and godwin spread it out makes this whole formation different you see what i'm saying so now it's pretty much like a tight compressed formation um as you can see we have a tight end now um i don't think yeah we can't motion him we really can't motion too many people when you're doing these other little plays so we'll, we'll get into that matter of fact i'll pick a play that you're able to see the motions and stuff too so bear with me if this is your first time watching this stuff people have subscribed to this channel for a reason you know, we give the good stuff over here. We don't do one play touchdowns and stuff. We had actually, we would we would take a formation and go from backed up in our own territory at the one yard line all the way across the goal line of the enemy's territory in that same set. So be on the lookout for this stuff. So here we go. I just did a random play right here. Let's see all the motions. Okay, you can't move Godwin. You can move him over right here. And keep brown tight and that way you can kind of like go to a corner and just work the field with brown by himself so anybody who worked from trips and stuff can get a little feel of that I did that for a reason just to show you what's going on but um, let's see brown he can't move um, running back can't move nowhere Gronk he can flex outside and it looked like that and these motions are um important you know when you go work formations go look at the motions and go see where people can can motion to sometime that is kind of critical you'd be surprised how creative you can get and see evans he can go right here he can split inside so you can also work evans to the corner just like that that's pretty cool right there or if you keep him right here you can work him to the corner but i don't think you can call a corner route from here see if you call a corner route from here he's gonna do the c route but if you motion evans and put him on the corner route here and you have to have the reason why i play with tom brady because he has hot route master i don't play with this team because it's tampa bay i play with him because it's tb12 and he has hot route master and you can work the corners and stuff with certain players look i could put godwin in the same route look at that <laughs> call your own little combinations you know what i'm saying so that's that's very critical with this formation so i'm gonna reset this thing that's pretty cool right there that is cool because if I'm talking about with Evans over there, that's real cool. Man, this formation right here is a game changer. The fact that they're just inside the numbers, you don't see too many formations like this. 
and you have the ability to put him right back outside and he still can work the corner it's similar to this play we we have called mesh and i've only seen that in three playbooks you see this gun spread flex look at that that's the same route right there and i and this is one of my most favorite plays in the spread playbook just because the corner route is already built into the play going to the corner so i'm gonna reset everything keep it how it was i hope i didn't waste any time right here because i really haven't even gotten started yet <laughs> but yeah so here we go as like i was saying earlier you can work the in you can work from the inside to the outside um similar to last year when we had a um when we was working the i formation tight and we had the two tight ends on both sides and when we called that over there in my space like um for instance we will move just pretend brown is a tight end we will call it my space over there and let him work that whole side of the field by himself and if the cornerbacks shade in depending on the spot and if the cornerbacks we just take the um, real estate over there every time but you don't know how this thing gonna play out so um, if you're still watching at this point that means you're here for some real golden nuggets because I got some nice little highlights and clips to show you so I'm just excited right now about getting this out to you guys and it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively six DBs in the game They fake the handoff. Now Brady. Open man is got what it's because the National Football League on EA Sports. Play action. Now it's Brady. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. Yeah, he's into the end zone. Touchdown. Um, but here we go though. Yeah, so enough with the tight, enough with the left side. Those guys are compressed. Um, you have all that real estate to work outside the numbers. You can even keep this stuff inside. You can put like, you can do little combinations like that. Put them on top of each other. Work it like that. Work it like that. All type of combos. I mean, as long as you're occupying the space and you got to take advantage of like the open windows and the gaps and stuff. So, yeah, that's how we I and mainly my favorite concept on this side looks just like that. That's my favorite concept right there. Um, Godwin will pull down the corner. Usually if it's like a cover two um, and you're going to see different defenses. So you're not going to see the same look every time. I just haven't done a, another play. So, yeah, that's one of my favorite concepts right there and stuff like that, passing-wise. But the thing is, this is a nice formation to run the ball from as well because it's compressed. And if you flip over to the right side, you got Gronk at tight end. So he's an extra lineman, basically. So you can utilize him as a lineman or, you know, a receiver. For instance, one of my favorite running plays, I call it, you know, it's called a jet touchback. I call this a running play. Now, the, the defender that's in front of Gronk, I wouldn't really call it on this down because they're spread it out. But we use Gronk for situations like this and then like they're spread it out. So obviously we wouldn't do the jet touch pass. I would just do a hat count and just play isolation mode and run the ball straight up the middle. And you will get like little games like this. And you guys know I've said it a million times. We don't take credit for what we do in practice mode. This is just a general idea of how the play is going to be ran. in their back pocket don't they you have to and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition looking for tendency breakers right now that's good for a buccaneer first now a carry for bernard He's got the first down here inside the 30. Touchdown. Okay, 
once again there in the quarter defense the defensive line is spread it so i would run straight up the middle i would just kind of kill 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 and we'd be going straight up the middle so that's kind of self-explanatory and let's just say for instance um these are the audibles but in the middle of my left guard and left tackle there's a gap right and we want to kind of like ambush the defense from from you know to the left side we would simply just go over one or two and to the normal you see that they got the gun normal y off the gun flex y off and the gun stack y off all of those formations kind of correspond with one another so if i seen the defensive line like that i would just quickly go to 45 base and it's already built into the audible system and i call that thing formation shifting and it'll look just like this the defense really once i did that let's go back real quick let's just say you're playing in the live game and you're going to see this in in the four minute offense videos a lot so you're going to see this a lot and this is a nice tactical way to maneuver the ball down the field up and down the field i mean you can literally sit in this formation all game long it's just the hat count making the right reads pre-snap and post-snap so yeah like i say you see the defense set up like this the two cornerbacks that's defending brown and godwin they has nothing to do with what's inside the box i mean by the time they get to me i'm at the second level of the defense so i will quickly be slick and go to the normal and go to 45 base and they're gonna move over there and then you know you're gonna just follow the blocks something like this here's a give to Fournette Get it inside the 40 to the, yeah. the numbers look right so you can almost say that the 45 base is part of the audibles of this gun stack y off I, I think it looked good this time let's see because the linebackers are in the gaps let's see don't touch the speed button boom so you get you guys get what i'm saying because football is all about numbers and and getting space and just taking advantage of the opportunity so i will implement that followed by a jet touch pass you see um if you look at the line everything is pretty good the two safeties has nothing to do with this formation i mean it's almost as if i'm playing um against nine defenders this is a nice time to do a jet touch pass take your hand off the speed button tell time you got to go around that little gap work the work the field like that and boom you're off to the races but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. And he's got Rome. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. This will be stopped about the left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now Brady bats his forward on the jet sweep. And he is tackled inside. Okay, so that's one of the, those are some of the key things. And another one of the key things is this zone alert Omaha. That's my second audible. So you see two audibles I have in here so far. Um, let's, let's just go to the audibles real quick so I can just show you real quick. However it goes, I just put the Omaha, the jet touch pass, the zone fake jet, and the PA jet sweep. That's how my audible set up. And I have this for a reason now. I've already went through this whole thing and utilize all of the the combinations and i have it like this for a reason you're going to see this in four minute offense and we're going to talk about it very strategically you know if you're tactical enough with this stuff nothing but success comes and, and another thing see these auto motions right here they all 
kind of work with each other. You know, they work off each other. If you have a scrambling quarterback, you can also implement this fake jet pass, whatever power and all that stuff. That's usually an ultimate team mode when you got Lamar Jackson and the Michael Vicks and stuff like that. You got the fast quarterbacks with 88 speeds or better, 87 speed. He can get behind these left guards who's pulling, and you can you can get some nice little ground. You'd be surprised how far you can get with this fake jet pass power. And it just works off each other because with these auto motion routes right here, all you're doing is trying to make the user chase the man who's motioning every time. Sometimes you want him to chase. Sometimes you're using that auto motion as a decoy. And that's the main part. And look, it's six plays. So you got three here, three there. So it's six plays with that auto motion implemented in there. So have fun. Switch up the combinations. I like to just work the jet touch pass and the fake jet halfback scene and the zone fake jet off one another. I just, you know, I work those one off one another. And you're gonna, it's just like the gun split slot and the slot offset type of stuff. Like I say, you're using that auto motion to your advantage. They still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin too. He's got the first down. out of the gun and inside but first down hurts and this is Corey touchdown third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten now a play fake Brady the 20. And they move. Now a play fake. Brady. And Evans calls it in. Bucks are going to add on to their lead. You have fun with this one, partner. I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk. About like I say, you're using that auto motion to your advantage. You want to make the user either chase you or you want to keep him at bay as a decoy. So, you're going to see plenty of examples of that. All right. Let's get back on the field. I want to talk about Omaha. Omaha! <laughs> Omaha will always be called. I've showed this before. When that cornerback who's sticking Mike Evans is off the, off the ball, he's, he's giving cushion. You're looking for cushion. You know what I mean? Got to the outside, turned it upfield. And ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Throwing the out route and compacting the intercept passes. Their confidence at an all-time high right now. And a catch right side by... I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone in there for a nice explosive run. A good gain on first. Has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now, it's right. now that's another example. When it's pressed like that, you got to get out of there. Actually, to be honest with you, when I'm coming up to the line of scrimmage, It's going to be just like this. I look straight to the left. I look to the right. I look to the right to see if it's off coverage. Then I look to the left to see if we can work the outside of the numbers. And then I look inside the middle. So it's pretty much like outside first, inside last. The foil method. Remember that from school? Inside is good to go. We just hand this ball off. There's going to be times where you have to do regular passing plays. And, I, well, this play here don't count because they're in the quarter three deep. So I just run the ball up the middle. And you can tell I'm playing on all mat and difficulty. That's another thing I want to talk about. When I'm playing with Tampa Bay on the um, four-minute offense in the next few videos I do, 
I am gambling for money. I am on playerlounge.com and I'm on gamersaloon.com. And we're playing on all Madden difficulty. So just keep that in the back of your mind so you know that everything is earned. You know, defense is really up to par when you're playing on all Madden. So I had to throw that in right there. So in real life, well, in a real game situation, I see two high safeties. They're pressing me. I really can't run the ball up the middle. I would just audible to something else that's similar to this and try to split the safeties. I go to one of my cover two reads real quick. And it's already set up. We'll go to the doubles and we'll hit the fourth wheel. I talked about that a few times. Um, it looks like cover two, but we'll be on the safe side and just go for the check down if it's not there. So it'll go just like this. The user will most likely be in the middle. I just check them on down. You're going to see gameplay footage. This is why we call this thing spread sets and formation shifting. Because usually the defense won't even move. Now this appears to be cover three or man. So that's when I'll hit Evans. Let's go. Nice. Beautiful. So that's how the read goes like that. And then sometime you know the next down he may even press like that and you can probably try to hit him with over the top or sometimes they will literally sit there and just give you the cushion all day long and then they'll try to be slick and check to the cover two to get a quick pick and that's when you hit them over the middle deep the over the deep middle part of the field because they'll try to be slick and check down the cover two and get a, a quick pick or whatever <laughs> Second and 15. And not realizing on the back end, we're just baiting them up. So that's what I like about this little formation right here. I know I'm doing a lot of talking right now, but it's all going to make sense in the next few videos. So, like I say, this formation is a balanced formation. You know, it's made for passing and running. Definitely running, definitely passing. Um, you got six linemen right here. Um, they even have a halfback screen in the, in the play. So just in case, you know, you got the user focusing on the left and the right. And that's what we do on this formation right here. That's what we do on this channel. On this channel, we you don't know where the ball is going. We take formations and we make every receiver possible for work. You know, we, we make, we take formations and we make every receiver eligible to get the ball. You know, unlike most people, they get in trip formations and you know that one man is getting the ball every time or he might dump it off to the other man. But with, with the formations that we do and the sets that we do, the strategies, everybody is able to get the ball every time. So, yeah, that's if I had to explain myself, how do I orchestrate this channel? Everybody can get the ball any down from what we do. So that's how that thing go. <laughs> levels that's another good play okay most likely the user will be in the middle of the field right it's spread it out so half of the time sometimes i look at my film and i look at the opponent and the user will go three plays straight 
not defending anybody because he's stuck in the middle and he'll like swivel around from X to triangle to square and try his best to pick up everybody and before you know it he's running in a circle he's not even involved in the passing lanes or the windows and he beat himself out of his own game because he spread it out they take particular delight in the red zone calls because those are the payoff ones. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. You gotta secure it. And Evans calls it in at the 17. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Try it here. He's back to throw. Now he's got it. And yes, he's into the end zone. Confidence in them in case it failed as that one just did. And now you've given good field position here to start the third quarter. That's what the spread playbook does. It spreads the defense out and it creates one-on-ones and isolations and stuff like that. So that's how that thing go. I mean, you guys know what I'm saying? Like the user will literally be in a circle and he'll have nothing to do with where I'm going with the ball. And I'm just basically going to the vacant area. So that's what little plays like levels do. Brown, that route that Brown is running, that's the money route right there. I mean, he'll quickly he'll literally see brown going to the sideline and just forget about him and try to go pick up gronk and then godwin and before you know it brown coming underneath just like that every time you only get a few times to do that play you get probably maybe one time per drive sometimes maybe two times per drive but then he gonna start keying in on it so that's why we make everything look the same because once he start biting down there we got whole we got a whole another list of things to go to like stuff like this and we try to get the user to follow him and he's a decoy this time and before you know it we going like that ah and that was a flood concept pretty much like you know we, we're flooding this the left side of the field if you look at it, it's like a levels type of play you know you got the corner route everybody's pretty much going to the left <laughs> when you really look at yourself god went so yeah, you just read it. Look at that split. <clears throat> and you're going to get that because he was trying to defend the Omaha route, the little speed out by circle. He was trying to defend that route over there. So all of this stuff, you got to make this stuff work off one another. You know what I mean? And once you do, it's nothing but success. I think I covered enough ground all the main bases i mean we didn't run plays like that but just hearing and just seeing the stuff it's pretty much like it's pretty much like we in the workshop you know and we're doing the book work i always mention that part yeah it's like we're doing the book work and you're reading about the stuff that's what part one of a formation is and like i say we already have the other built-in audible so if the if you don't you have more to work with I mean, we can even turn this from that to this. Look how quick that is. Get up on the line of scrimmage real quick and just call a play real quick. He don't even get the audible nowhere. Boom. I just randomly, I ain't really read. I just did something real quick. But yeah, I, I do a real life example right now. Like if I seen something, this is what I do in real life. So I'd be like, okay, um, underneath we got him. All we got to do is watch out for that slot corner right here. I hand the ball off if he's a user and he's trying to undercut me. Here you go, just like this. Mm. That's the cushion that you're looking for every time. And these guys will literally sit there and not press. It, it'll be just like this. They'll, they'll do this like three or four times straight back to back. And you can take it. Mm. That's going to happen sometime. But if you throw a pick or two, go ahead and throw a pick. You know what I'm saying? Get, throw a pick and get the feeling and see how that thing go. So it'll, it'll, and I don't throw picks off that route no more. Um, 
it'll humble you you know what i'm saying it'll humble you to go to other things so you have plenty of tools to work with in this situation i probably work brown wait for the underneath man Fume. and like i say the, i will only put things out here for strategy and stuff for you guys to work with if we can manipulate the user if we can get the user guessing here we go again underneath I tried to go to circle. I don't know why he hitting the ball. I think I tried to throw the ball too quick and I hit circle. But it still worked out and stuff. It gave me some yards though. But um, like I say, it's going to be times where whatever the defense do, that's how I always do. I just go off what the defense do, you know. And I have a real high percentage of winning and winning the down. No, I ain't really talking about winning the game. I'm just talking about winning the down because every down is a fight. Every down is a battle. The whole game is a war. You know, there's been times where I've won the battle but lost the war. There's been times where I've won the battle and won the war. You know what I'm saying? There's been times where I've lost the battle but still won the war. So that's all football. You know, that's how that thing go. But winning the battle is very important for me because if you win the battle for, for too long, you know, you got a more high percentage chance of winning the whole war. So here we go again. Here's here's another one of those little slick plays right here. I spread them out. I just go back real quick. Where would the user be in this play? The user probably would be that middle linebacker right there. I just run the ball right right in his face. Or I might take advantage of my my six lineman right here. Go around these guys. Ah, with a hard cut. I I kind of did an ugly cut right there. But yeah, that's my main play right there. Though. So you got to be on the lookout for that too. So he pressing this time. Let's see what happens if you go over the top. I don't really go over the top like that. Only time I kind of go over the top is when I do this play with that route that's an outside release fade. Let me see if we got it in here. No, I took it out. I took it out. Let's throw a, let's throw a streak real quick just to see what happens. That's pretty much why I don't throw flies. I don't never throw flies really that's the this the one route that i don't do no more um here we go we'll put them over here we'll put evans in motion uh oh this is an example right here i put evans in motion i put him in the corner and i put him back smart right on real quick and let them work the corner they lurked underneath now we got to go to triangle i took a glance over there but we had to go back to triangle so yeah that's how that thing go y'all so this is coach kk i hope you guys enjoyed every second of this thing uh i'm dedicated to this i'm very passionate about it um enjoy the highlights and i'll see you on the field for the four minute offense